All right, so the last time we saw Scarlet, she left the vault, fought some tiny robots, and then fought off a small team of super mutants, and then got a little surveying, scouting spot of the area. Ooh, more rat chunks. So I can make that, and I made that. Now, there are places she wants to go and things she wants to see and do. However... She saw these structures. Oh, there's a Liberator. I can see it from here. She saw some structures, and she's going to go ahead and investigate those. There's a lot of these uh, Rhododendron flowers. She's also going to try and be a bit more cautious. Danger! Something sees me, and I don't know where. I don't know where from. Oops, someone's lunchbox with canned dog food. Speaking of which, um, I need to... Oh, looks like that one's in better condition than mine. Anyways, I need to eat something, probably. Ah, uh, not majorly, but I do need to. Anyways, how about the mole rat chunks? Uh, actually, I'll, I'll save that. I'll save that. Some rice and beans. Which fills me up. And I made... So, food can expire and such, so... I'll keep that in mind. I'll have some blood leaf tea, which will increase my disease resistance while I'm out here unprotected in the wilds. Ah, soot flower. Useful. Useful new type of fauna. Developed... Hi there. Toy truck. Useful. More beer. Hi there. Bye there. Now, I can't remember if I'm able to get up on this shed or not. Oh, toothpaste. That's antiseptic and plastic. I can get under the shed. I just recalled this. This is, this is fun. So here we go. Let's just go underneath the shed, get some shelter. Maybe it's raining. You come in here and, oh my gosh, it's a bunch of bodies and a radio playing that I need to turn off. Anyways, it's a bunch of bodies, and someone was here recently because it's just wood scraps. Because normally, there's a sickle there and, like, some circuitry and things. But Sickle Man was here, which... And someone got the fungus. So, who or what was Sickle Man? Well, I don't know, but he has five bodies that he's, uh... He has five bodies under here that he's cut the head off of. Okay, there are only three skeletons, but there actually are supposed to be five. Okay, so this is the problem with an online game. The environment can be manipulated, and it kind of ruins it. But whatever! I found Sickle Man. Oh, a leather chest piece. Alright, I'm talking really loud because I'm trying not to get a copyright strike. Okay, so... So that's fun. I got a leather chest piece. Which is... Boom! This guy. A bit more protection. Oh, got some stuff left here. A guitar sword. Okay, so that was a, a fun little distraction. Um, let's get away from that music. party hat. The party hat will stay on until it's time to get rid of the party hat, which will be at a future and undisclosed time. And What's this down here? More liberators.
What the? Oh, hi there. Gotcha. More steel scrap. Empty duffel bag. Thank you. So we have a scorch. Pretty looking feller. Well, lady. Did have a lady's voice when I attacked it. I mean, it was coming right at me. Ooh. Uh, home plate. Okay, so this is handy because I can scrap all of my stuff. Including my beer bottle. Uh, I'm going to go through and scrap some of my weapons. The boards. Did that give me a... No, anyways. Combat knife. Guitar sword. It's, two, it's level 15. I'm level 2. Ooh, that's a better condition pipe pistol. Now, here's what's fun. I learned how to make a standard stock. I don't know what that means. All right, I just learned some new stuff and I am going to Now I'm going to craft a little bit. What can I craft? I can craft a board. I can craft a hatchet or a combat knife. I can craft crap. I can craft a pipe. A pipe action pistol. A pipe revolver or a syringer. Or throwing knives. I think I'll make a few more throwing knives. It's just made up straight of steel. Alright, someone had a camp here. And I am going to make some grilled rag stag. Mute fruit juice. And that's it. I'm done. Machete. Pipe pistol. Hunting rifle. There it is. The land lighthouse that I was always taught about. Told about. Look at her. All lighthousey. Standing there. Majestically, confusedly. Joining the event, the path to enlightenment. Gather now, faithful followers of the most wise and beneficent Mothman. Let us light his holy beacon with the radiance of the fireflies. Let our beacon pierce the darkness and summon forth his divine presence that we may commune with him. All right, so um, here's a job for me. And apparently I'm not the only one doing this. I have uh, another person doing it. So I gotta click. This actually might make it either easier or more difficult depending on how much they wanna work with me. But I gotta kill these lovely fireflies. And load up the lighthouse with the uh, bioluminescent flu that they produce. I'm also going to loot some of this stuff here quickly. On the other hand, they also might be helping me out with that. They might have gathered all they needed. And it might make this quest a lot faster for me. 
fighting something up there. Oh, I got a critical I can use. I have another... Ooh. Oh, it's only... I fell the path to the enlightenment quest. Ah! Oh. But I've leveled up. Well, I was really hoping to do this. Well, it was also ending very fast. Okay, that's super disappointing. I really wanted to do this quest. I didn't pay attention to the timer, otherwise I would have... ...probably not failed that quest. And that person has left. Okay. So, that makes me a little sad. Grab some of these bits and pieces of scrap I can use for... Oh, yeah. I wonder what stopped them. Ammo box. See what's in here. So, that's a really random automated radio message to play. Nuka-Cola. Hi, Priestess. I was right. The fireflies come here to mate. They go a little crazy, and I got hurt pretty bad, but I was able to gather enough goo to light the lamp. Now I just have to wait. The great Mothman will come. He has to. Okay. Binoculars. Lots of scrap glass, which I will only need some of, so I'll grab now. So, I was really hoping to do this quest. I could probably server hop to do it, but I think I'm gonna let, let the cards lie as they fall. I wonder why the person didn't uh, activate it. They did not have enough. I mean, I've done this at a pretty low level without a problem. Myself. Well, there we go, faithful viewers. The fun of um, events and online games, you never know when someone's just gonna bomb. Oh, aluminium. So. So there's some disappointment for you. Well, for me at least. Okay, so this government supply requisition, where is, um, no, where do I need to go for this government supply requ- I need to go out here, to this tower, so if I cut that way, maybe that's what I'll do next. Because who doesn't like a good government supply requisition, you know? as I gather up some uh, scrap. Ah, there's usually a drug in there of some kind, like, me like medicine or something. Oh, there's lots of milk in here. Charleston Herald, the giant tea pot. Sweetwater blend teas po possesses the most delicate flavor and exquisite aroma that are perfectly suited for a fine evening's entertaining or an afternoon's quiet repose. Appalachia's finest, visit the giant teapot today. So I will get a notification to visit that teapot, which uh, I will probably not actually do. What's this? Oh, Radstag too. I'll take that. Stim pack, I'll take that. Turpentine, I'll take that. The bobblehead for agility. Gets gains, gives me more agility. Mm. Questioning the usefulness of that. 
All right, so I got the level up, so let's take that. Um, can I take Lone Wanderer yet? No, not yet. I could take Concentrated Fire, which I do want to use. Boom! Slap that in there. All righty. Lock safe. However, let's take a... Oh, yeah, let's learn that... Um. All right, so let's see here. Hmm. I hate this mini game. Ah, there we go. So let's take a look here. Welcome to Landview Lighthouse, the most unusual lighthouse in Appalachia. Nestled in the mountains west of Morgantown, the capital of West Virginia, Landview Lighthouse offers a beautiful 360 degree view of the surrounding area from its gallery deck. The origins of this landlocked lighthouse are as unusual as the lighthouse itself. Originally conceived as a theoretical concept by engineering students from Morgantown, the concept was ruthlessly mocked by the students from a rival university. On a dare, the students decided to make the project a reality, and its construction became a point of pride for everyone involved. The project soon took a life of its own, overcoming many obstacles. The lighthouse was eventually erected on October of 2036. 2036. It was dedicated to Donald and Shirley Jameson, who, uh, the two professors who helped spearhead the project from the very beginning. Now retired, the Jamesons live in a nearby house where they serve as a lighthouse keepers full time, keeping it functional solely on donation money from the visitors. Those are probably the two corpses that are here. Before construction began, over a year was spent consulting with the lighthouse enthusiast community. Is that really a thing? Was that really a thing? From these conversations, it became clear that it couldn't come across as just another tourist trap that you got to see on golf courses and theme parks. It was determined that the lighthouse would serve as a true aid to navigation with a working light and authentic architectural design. It had to have an operating beacon and 360 degree gallery deck for observation. In other words, if they're going to do it, they had to do it right. Three years later, they completed the lighthouse the completed lighthouse was open to the public. Tourists from all over flocked to the curious structure and raved about the beautiful view of the landscape provided from atop the trees. Future students continued to develop the landscape over the years by building the lighthouse keeper's house, a picnic pavilion, and general reforestation to recover from previous timber harvests of the surrounding area. Landview Lighthouse is a 102 foot tall structure, thousands of feet above sea level, with 76 steps. Eh, nice little reference there to climb for visitors to reach the stunning 360 degree view gallery deck. The second tier lamp room featured a rotational beacon capable of projecting a beam for over 25 miles. Guests on the 360 degree gallery deck can enjoy, gall yeah, gallery deck can enjoy unrivaled views of various landmarks in all directions. Beyond the mountain to the north is Grafton, a major shipping road uh, hub and railroad intersection of the area. The east is Morgantown, home of Volt Tech University, the founders of this very lighthouse. In the distance is the Top of the World, located at Pleasant Valley Ski Resort, featuring the highest elevation in the region. Looking south, it's impossible to miss the stunning New River Gorge Bridge, one of the longest bridges in Appalachia. On a clear day, the unmistakable silhouettes of the luxury mega mansions in Bramwell can also be spotted. The landmarks that can be viewed from the 360-degree gallery deck are too numerous to mention under the right weather conditions. Guests will have a spectacular view of the entire region. And I can open it up. So this curious lighthouse was made because people thought it couldn't be made. And it was her who was sleeping and him who was probably working at the desk. And I got some more loot out of the safe. And there we go. I mean, there's a top of the world. up. That's the top of the world. Grafton is up that way. So there's a picnic area. Let's go to the picnic area. Where am I?
outer space. Guys, did you feel this? You feel this, guys? Guys? Where did everybody... Oh. Oh, what the hell is that? Oh, man. Please, please tell me you see that, guys. Do you see that? Becky, there's a lighthouse right there, right? Right, Becky? Steve? Oh, God. Oh, God. Stay calm. Stay calm, man. Stay calm. Oh, you're up too high. There's no water around. There's no boats around. It's, it's, it's not a lighthouse, you idiot. They don't build lighthouses. It's, it's, it's just a camp. It's just a camp. Of course. So uh, these drug addicts came out here, and this dude, most likely, had a really bad trip. He really, this must be that Becky. So, uh, got some dead people here. And the only other person I saw was another vault dweller who was just going nuts. Blackberries. Where? There you are. All right, so there was a uh, side quest here that got robbed from me, but that's okay. You sign it, I'm going to do the um, the government supply drop next because I could do with more supplies. Oh, hey there, what's this? Copper. Wood, always useful. Okay, nothing else is getting picked up in my vats. And I missed. I did miss that time. What, the dog didn't look nice. I don't know how it doesn't hear this. Whoa! Oh, I crippled him. I crippled him. Wild mongrels. Well, these are clearly radiated, mutated dogs. Untitled poem. A mooned wood mooning from the wooded woods. Sharp rocks, rocks under ramp patches and raspberry thorns. I run quickly through the dark, feeling my way into blacker space. Let loose the spiced egg batch without setting down. I'm a gunner and a bomber, languidly turning above the cumulus raining death with American precision. All right, some post-war poetry. Post-war poetry is worth preserving. Let's see here, what else we've got? Oh, I'm over encumbered. There's going to be a. That's going to be a theme. I'll get to that later. I am very interested in uh, looting all of these bits and bobs that are laying around. Okay, I don't really need more beer bottles. I will take fresh beer, though. Well, bottled beer. I doubt it's very fresh. Hmm. Non-functioning TV. A safe I am able to pick. Oh, crap. All 
Alright, a safe I am able to pick. A safe I might be able to pick. A safe I am failing at picking. Ah, oh, there we go. Technical data. Hang on to that for the future. Ah, oh, there you are. Okay, gonna have a little scour around to see if there's anything useful laying around. There we go. The wood pile is always useful. What is this dog doing? RUV equals one half RGUV plus AGUV equals. Was a dog doing this? Was there a person doing this? Uh, good questions. I don't have those answers. Well, let's make some food. We can make blackberry juice. Mute fruit juice. And some more tea. Rad toad omelet gives more endurance. As does the mutt chops. And I can make, okay, so. Bowie knife can get the scrap treatment. Okay, so I'm already sitting pretty heavy on my weight, so let's do some inventory management. I'll sort this by what's going to spoil the soonest. Ooh, this soot flyer is about to go, actually. Well, the mole rat chunks gives me a point of strength so I can get some more carry weight. Did I see... No, okay, I'm wrong. What's the next beverage I can have? Prepared beverage. Mute fruit juice. Hmm. Disease chance, 0.85%. Okay, well that's all that's expiring very, very shortly. So, well, not all the soot flowers expiring. I guess it's just some of the immediate stuff is. And I will need it in the future. All right, so no one's home here. No one's home at the lighthouse. Maybe someone's home at this farm over here, but I'm uh, gathering probably not. 